Hey everyone, it's Gabrielle over here today at the Kentucky Humane Society East Campus. Now you guys, I'm over here on behalf of Oxmoor Toyota. We are donating a $2,500 donation. So with Toyota though, they're actually going to match it with the Toyota Dealer Match Program for an additional $2,500, which makes it that $5,000 yes. donation. Yes. So Megan, how is that going to affect you guys over here? Yes, uh, so we are so excited about this amazing opportunity that you guys have given us. It's gonna go directly to help babies like this, Holden. Uh, Holden came to the Kentucky Humane Society from an overcrowded shelter, and we're able to take in animals from overcrowded Kentucky shelters because of amazing donations like this. And we're so excited about it. Aren't you Holden? <laughs> yeah. I was saying, for those of you who are watching, this is Holden. Holden is a year old, and he's just a big goober. Uh, he came to the Kentucky Humane Society with heartworms, and actually, uh, because of donations like you, we're actually able to help him out and treat his heartworms until he's heartworm negative. So we're real excited to find this boy a home. He's beautiful, definitely. <laughs> Hopefully we'll find him a home. Now, and I think we're actually going to go over to the equine facility after yes. this because part of that is going towards that um, that area too, correct? Yes, absolutely. Okay, perfect. Yeah, so we started the equine program uh, in 2015 and it's been amazing. We've saved so many horses. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> as you can imagine, Kentucky is known for their horses. So we're really excited about that program and that okay. you guys will be able to help us out. Yes, yeah, we're excited to go over there. Well, thank you so much, Megan, for taking the time to speak with me. Thank you. <laughs> Hey everyone, it's Gabrielle again, and I'm over here at the equine facility. I have Savannah here with me, mm -hmm. and Hope, the beautiful horse. So Savannah, now that donation, that $5,000 yeah. donation from Toyota, how is that all like going to assist you out here? Yeah, definitely. So we have this beautiful farm out here in Simpsonville, Kentucky. We call it Willow Hope Farm. We have one of our namesakes here right now. <laughs> um, but really what our program mission is to help horses in transition and reframe that conversation about adoption, especially with our horses here. Right. Um, so whether that be owners that are no longer able to care for their horses and they want them to go to their next home, we right. take in many owner surrenders. We also have populations of stray horses that need our assistance. Um, and then we also have horses like Hope that were out free roaming in the Eastern Kentucky mountaintop. But our goal here is to get these horses into the next chapter of their life um, and then find the next perfect owner for them. Okay, perfect. Well, and she's smiling great. for us today. She is. Those beautiful teeth right there. <laughs> now we do have the, uh, the Toyota truck yeah. here, the Tundra. Now we helped you all get this, I think a couple years ago, yeah. maybe last year. Now how is this all assisting you? How are you Absolutely. guys doing this? Sure. So that truck has been really beneficial it's just as far as transportation between our farm and also elsewhere. I mean, obviously the great truck bed that allows us to load up hay, <laughs> salt blocks, and any other materials that we may need for our horses. Right. At any given time, Willow Hope Farm is caring for 20 all the way up to 45 horses. Um, so any sort of resources we can get are very helpful and we're really grateful for the partnership with Toyota. Yes, definitely. We're happy to do it. We love, we love working with you yeah. all. Um, so with me here today is Hope, who is one of the shooting survivors from the Eastern Kentucky shooting that took place last December. Hope came in with her weanling coat Knox and then also her daughter Diamond who was about two years old. When Hope arrived to our farm she was extremely emaciated, very stressed out and also very much pregnant. Um, now with Hope we have spent a long year with her making sure she gained enough weight so she was able to deliver a healthy foal. So in April Knox her weanling coat was adopted and then in May the following month Lucius her foal was delivered happy and healthy. Diamond Diamond is still with us in our care where she's getting round the clock training to ensure that we're finding the best home for her. And Hope is with us now and she is, or excuse me, her um, colt has recently been weaned from her and she is now beginning her training evaluation at the farm and we hope to find her forever home um, very soon. Um, this is our buddy Chance, who is a 28-year-old gelding that we just have. You can already see, just based off of the video, how much poor condition he is in. I mean, you can see his spine, his ribs, um, and Chance was actually purchased by another organization at a slaughter auction. Oh. Um, yeah, so we think that had this organization not pulled him from this auction, he probably would have been next for slaughter. Mm. Um, so they brought him to us because they felt like we could rehab him the best and of course put him up for adoption. And believe it or not, he has actually gained a pretty significant amount of weight um, from when he first arrived. Poor baby. There he is. Hi. Oh, um, all of this pasture space back here, all the way up to that fence line, this is all ours. So we actually have over 42 acres of pasture um, at 36 stalls, which allows us to care for up to 45 horses if needed. Um, big guy walking right here is at Tennessee Walking Cross. His name is Rio. Um, this is an instance where the owner had actually lost their land. 
okay. and could no longer care for him, but they wanted him to go and find a good home. So we took him in last month um, and he'll make for a great fit for somebody. <laughs> Far left here is Willow. She is our namesake. So Willow came to us um, last October, extremely emaciated. She was found on the mountaintop in Eastern Kentucky. Mm. Honestly, had we not intervened, she probably would not have survived that winter. She was skin and bones. On top of that, she was also pregnant. Oh, wow. But since she's been here now, she is rehabilitated. She does have a pretty skinny frame. Um, and I think that's just from mal malnourishment for many years on that mountaintop. Um, but she did drop a foal in May, who is doing really, really well. Cool. So this is Buck, who we talked about earlier, the mule, gonna come say hi. Hi, baby. Very can friendly. Hi. hi, sweetie. Hi, you're an old man. Look yeah. at all that white, oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> okay, really cool right here on our right, that's Highland Thunder, who is a 21-year-old thoroughbred. He raced a few times, um, and they just wanted his next career, so they gave him to us, so we'll find his next great home. Walking up to us right now is Callie. She's also in her late 20s. She came in with Buck, so the instance where the owner was just moving into an apartment complex um, and didn't want to sell her, but they wanted her to get readopted out. Mm. Hi. Hi, beautiful. Oh, you're gorgeous. This is Annabelle, three years old, very young. She was used for kind of a makeover project um, with a young child. Um, and after they were finished with that makeover, they turned her to us so she could find her home. Annabelle is probably going to do best going to a home with somebody who has experience working with green horses. Um, and green horses just means that they really haven't been ridden too much and need a significant more training than a broke horse. Okay. Um, Rocky actually came in in April from Trigg County. And this is a, a place where we were asked to assist with an animal investigation. So we do not go in and actively investigate cruelty cases. We have to be asked by somebody that has that county official to do it. Um, so Rocky came in because she was locked in a stall for 10 years. What? Yeah, 10 years of her entire life. Jeez. Um, so her hooves were completely overgrown. I mean, curling upwards is probably the most disturbing thing I've ever seen before. Oh. And I've seen some really gross things, but that was the worst to see. Um, so she did come in with two other horses. One was a stallion that was transferred to another rescue. So we were asked to assist with the case with the Kentucky State Troopers and also Department of Agriculture. Um, so the two horses right here, the gray mare standing in front of us, her name is Flower. You also see the Palomino mare back there. Her name is Sandy. So we had gone down to this property to assist with a large animal case. There were 40 horses on the property, including several that were malnourished and some that were dead. Um, so the owner did surrender the horses over to us. These two actually just had foals in May. Um, foals are doing really well and actually already have adopters lined up right. for them. Hi. Then on our right here with Gabby, that's Gia. Hi, she is a 18 year old thoroughbred mare. So Gia actually raced a few times and then was used as a brood mare, um, which is a horse for breeding, but she could not reliably turn, cannot reliably carry horses to term. So she's looking for her third career. Um, she'd make probably a great little show horse. Mm -hmm. She's beautiful. She's stunning, yeah. And then this guy right here is probably one of my favorite names. His name is DiGiorno. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Named after the pizza. Um, and he is an Arabian. And he came to us. Um, he was probably a little bit more energetic than the previous owner could handle. Um, so she turned him to us. And he'll need to go to a home where somebody has experience with Arabians or experience with some other horses.